In this Debaco University video, we're going to be investigating heat source as a carbon dioxide delivery for cannabis production. If you're looking for a way to add some heat and carbon dioxide, this can be a great way to combine both of these methods into one. So first off, many times growers need to heat their spaces. And a lot of times they're trying to maintain that nice plant conditions. And a lot of times supplemental heat is needed. So heating a growing air with a heater that also generates carbon dioxide seems like an obvious choice and it can be very beneficial. However, growers need to realize that when, when the heater will actually be on in a regular 24 hour day. If the heat is only needed during the dark or night period, the addition of carbon dioxide will not provide the plants with much benefit. Only when the lights are on or the sun is out will the plants actually utilize carbon dioxide efficiently. So we have the fall, winter, spring area as well. So in colder regions, there may be the need to heat a grow space during um, light hours, which may only be during the cool to cold seasons of the year. This will cause a slight unevenness in growth related to the amount of carbon dioxide enrichment, but when heat is needed anyway, it can be a worthwhile addition. So it may not be something you're adding in the summertime because it might be adding cooling systems, but this could be a way to help benefit during the colder months with adding some carbon dioxide at least. Now we have also the springtime push. So to get seedlings or clones off to a quick and early start, this method of carbon dioxide generation seems logical due to the typical need for additional heat anyway during this stage. While this may not be continued for the remainder of the season, it can be a great way to give plants a push early when fertilizers are typically kept at a minimum to avoid damaging of the small seedlings or the small clones. Supplementing that area with carbon dioxide, typically it's going to be cooler anyway, can be a great way to boost growth with minimizing potential damage to the plants. And again, in the springtime especially, typically heat is needed, so why not use a heat source that will also provide some additional benefit by enriching your area with carbon dioxide. 